from Fast and Furious. Yeah. Of course, hey, we I'll, another video will be coming on them too. Already did Doms, and let's head over here to the Brawler. The Coil Brawler in GTA it's called. Right, this car Get it up. And for the whole of uh, this whole video plan, I've just got it. There it is. Right. This is drove by Letty in Fast and Furious 8, actually. Now, this is going to cost you a little bit of money. About a million. 750 grand for the car. And. About 250 grand for upgrades and all that. About a mil. Don't remember. It's called a rally fighter because they use it a um, lot in rallies. Is good for off-roading. It was made for the, for the film. It was made for ice and that, and it's pretty nice car overall. Not fast, if you'd say. But if you had to climb Mount Chiliad with this, you would be off. It'd be good. So first of all, you cannot find these. You have to actually buy them. You have to go all the way to the internet on any phone. Go to Travel and Transport, Legendary Motorsport, and should be right here. This is what you want the Coil Brawler. Make sure you get in black because it'll give you a good head start. What you need. And I'm not going to buy it again because I'd like to save my money. Unlike last car, yesterday I showed you, you can find it for free. Now once you've bought it and got in the garage, head to the nearest... Nearest Los Angeles Customs I'd do. Yeah. Nearest Los Angeles Customs. So I'm just heading to this one over here. And when you get there, it is going to be really hard because you need certain things. Remember, like I said yesterday, let me move my mic away. But like yesterday, like I said, <clears throat> there it's not going to look 100% like the movie. 
Oh, it looks very close. This, actually, this is what you're going to be making. This car is actually based off, this is the exact same shape as the real life one. Well, the one in the film, the exact same shape. Car build. Man, that's because GTA right is called there. different. I'm at my Los Angeles Customs now. Of course, pause the video if you need to. Of course, if you do repair the vehicle, head armor 100% because that will help you in case you crash into a wall. Trust me. Brakes race, of course. Now, bumper. When you're going to get straight to front bumpers, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want that. Bull bar with lights. Then head to rear bumpers and bumper bar. Because that isn't actually true. You don't want that. It might say stock. You can choose that or that. I'd say that bumper bar because it looks better. And it looks more fruity. Pause the video if you need to. Chassis roll cage. Defo. Because if I go into first person, it doesn't do out, it just upgrades. I think it just gives it a stronger base. Engine level 4. Duh. N normal horn. Headlights, you want stock. You can do X1 if you want. Plate, I go with yellow and black, but keep it, keep it whatever you want. Now primary, this is gonna be major. The primary color, metallic, wait. Metallic shadow silver. Okay. And pearlescent shadow silver again. Give it a nice boost of shininess. And secondary, matte black. Like that. Okay. Roof, you want you could do stock if you want. But in the film it has lights like that on, so spotlights there. Oh, I don't know what exit. Suspension stock. If you do race it's too low for the movie. Transmission you want race. Turbo put it on wheels now you can stay with the stock if you want yeah you can either go for the nethers or the stock i'm gonna yeah, i'm gonna go for the stock because it makes it look proper i don't know why i chose the nethers color of course this should be black now tires bulletproof tires and white tire smoke and you of course you can't have design and windows yeah but no just normal windows and there you go you have the car from from it there you go you have you have letty's rally fighter from fast and furious 8 aka the fate of the furious Its power is a GM LS3 VA engine with a Magnaflow exhaust, of course, in the back there. And an AeroQuip uh, fuel system for the nice travelling. It has a 4L80E transmission, 9 inch front and rear. Yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm just reading all this. King Shock suspension, Willwood Super Light, Recaro race seats. Of course, we've got the race seats in. Armor plating, off road bumpers, of course. Graphite grey and 
graphite grey. Let's see if we can put that on. Let's see what that looks like. Graphite grey. That's what its colour is. So you can rather choose the one that I told you. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna look at the graphite grey. Okay. Let's have a little look at the graphite grey. Graphite grey. Of course, there is no graphite grey. <laughs> I got you. Closest is graphite, but yeah. Of course, you need that. So that is probably the closest you'll get. So yeah, it is a very powerful car <clears throat> in the movie. In the movie, this these bumpers here are red. Of course, we can't do that. Huh, <laughs> guys. This is gonna be a race tonight. I'm gonna smoke them. Cause we're driving in the down. And that is how you make Letty's Rally Fighter from the face of the Furious. Overall, nice car. Personally, I would use it just to get up like mountains and all that. Or to have fun. I would not use it for racing. Because it's quite slow compared to some cars. And guys, make sure to put in the comments what you want me to show you how to build next. And a good.